Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Thompson Farm Pork Goats. I'm Antonio. Um, I guess today's a little bit of a special day. Um, I know it's been a while since I last did a video, maybe about two weeks or so. Um, been kind of slacking, as you as you would say. Um, but we're gonna be purchasing a goat, and I'm gonna show you everything what I do, I guess. So I did talk to my friend Santiago. Um, so this goat is a is from Texas, I believe. Um, he's pretty big, so he's a lot. I think he is a lot bigger than my Skips right now. Skips is this guy right here. Let me show you. So if you guys don't know, this is uh, Skips right here. He's my little dapple board book. Bought him from the same guy, uh, Santiago. Um, but right now I have Skips with uh, these girls right here. So. So these are all females right here. He's all with gonna be with all seven of them. So I'll probably have him breed this group right here, and then we're probably gonna sell skips, and then we'll have the other guy cover the rest of the herd. So I have I don't know how much more, but he's a he's a pretty big goat. Um, but yeah, so I'll hope after skips is done breeding, we'll probably sell him this fall or so. Or maybe we might keep them. I, I'm not sure what, what we're gonna do. But here's a little setup for right now. I just kind of scattered all the feeders um, because uh, my goat's a big mama. She, she likes to bully everybody else around. So I have a little, I love this one right here. This is Bailey's baby. She was born about three weeks ago. She's the youngest one out of all everybody. So she's turning out good. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Um, have everybody else right here. Just feeding them just hay for today. Was gonna let them out, but that's okay. But as you can see, I know when I last banded their tails, their tails finally came off, even the big ram too. So their tails are starting to fall off. You probably see them on the ground here and there. Here's one, you, you. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Here's the female, here's a male I'm gonna sell. There's two males right here. So if you guys are watching this and you guys are here in New Mexico, you guys can get get some of these ones. And these are majority of the books are all out of uh, skips over there. Um, the only one that's not out of skips is that black-headed one. I don't know where he's at. He's usually in here. Let's see. Yeah, he's right there. He's that one that's like stuck in there. That's that's him. I'm gonna get him out. So he's the only one that's not out of him. He's a black-headed goat. So, but yeah, my oh yeah, and I didn't show us on the channel, but we are done with this spot over here. I don't want to show you guys, but here's the sheep. Um, yeah, I guess my grandpa com completed this, so we just need to make a little house. So I have the pig pen. I have a house over there, so I'm just gonna take it apart and bring it over here. But everything is done. This is uh, just kind of like a little more sturdy than my other ones. Uh, we, we didn't even weld these on. I'm not sure if you're supposed to or not, but we just kind of tied it on here. So, but yeah, this is actually a whole lot higher. This is eye level right here. So it's pretty, I would say, five, five and a half foot fence. So it's pretty, pretty big. I originally wanted the fence from right here, that pole. So that would actually make it smaller. But yeah, everything does look good. My grandpa did add this gate right here, which was from the pig, pig pen. So this is actually supposed to be the sheep corral. Um, I'm gonna buy more sheep. Right now I have six ewes and I have three rams and then one, one other bigger ram I'm gonna use. So, I have that guy for sale over there. He's a single, that's why he's a lot. But other than that, um, I think that's about it for right now. Oh yeah, and then these guys over here too. My other goats. Here's Maggie. This little doe is showing. Here's everybody else right here. 
Here's, I would say, the teen the teenager bin. Here's Tiger. But I kind of just switched the boys up right here. I let the ram run around with the females. Don't mind if he breeds them right now. Um, but I got these guys in here, so hopefully they do good. But other than that, um, we're definitely gonna. Sorry, it looks like I just woke up. Probably woke up like maybe an hour ago. But um, I am gonna go head out there and kind of do little videos here and there. Then I'll show you. Ah, uh, Santiago, see if he wants to be on camera or not. Um, I know he has a nice set of herd, but yeah. Well, I guess we'll. Um, I, I work at 12 today, so not until after work, then I'll head over there. But I'll kind of show you guys what what do you do. I never done this before, so I always forget and I always say, oh well. I'll, I'll record, but I don't record. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching, and if you, if you can, like, subscribe, and um, share 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 the video. Okay, thank you. We'll see you guys. Okay, guys. So like I said, I'm bad at recording videos, so we just kind of we just uh, landed in Bernalillo, huh, Paulo? So we're about 30 minutes out, and so we'll show you when we get there. Right, so I actually came here to uh, Santiago. Is my friend um, here's some nice goats um, so here's his herd he's he has a really nice herd set set in stone so he's you know, more about quality and you know, he quantity so he's doing really good um, I think he all has percentages and, and full bloods so this is what he's working with he has a lot of nice nice goats okay um, he does have his big buck over here um, I think he's let's see, I need this open real quick but yeah we just loaded the buck that i um came here for yeah. so here's a big buck right here he's a big guy so he's a really big guy so here, here's the buck that he has um so he's a really really big buck i'm like buck five five nine and he's half of me <laughs> And here's the other book right here, this black one. He's from, uh, I think, Texas, if I'm correct. And he, and he does have these uh, bucks for sale right here. So all these bucks are for sale. Uh, we do have some full bloods. Uh, here's another daffle. These are all out of him right here. So if you guys are interested in, are in Albuquerque, New Mexico, he, he is located here. Um, so far, so good. Okay. Um, so if you guys are interested in buying some of his, Goats. He does have some books available over there. Um, they are out of his big book right here. And he is a giant. Okay. Hey okay, guys, so we stopped for a little bit, uh, but this is the guy. I, I know I didn't show you guys, but we're actually, what, an hour away from Albuquerque? Far enough from Cuba, from Albuquerque. So this is the new one we bought. So we just stopped on the side of the road just for now, just to do a little break. Um, but he is a. 100% registered for go. So, I guess we'll. I wanted to show him before it gets too dark. If we're actually just stopped just to make this video. So, yeah, this is him right here. So, we're getting to more of a bigger goat, I guess. So, you can see his front. Oh, he's a nice goat. Okay, so this is actually the next day. We got back at home. I got back, got back home around maybe 10 o'clock last night, so it wasn't too bad. But he is here now, so. Oh, sorry. So he's actually a whole lot bigger than my other buck over there. But he is about an extra two months older, so. Yeah, but he's looking good. I just let him. I, I just let him out of his pen just so he can. Uh, I guess just run around for a little bit. And then we'll put him back in the pen, maybe half a day, or probably when we leave here. But he's looking really good. He's a uh, 
15 months or 14 months old. So then we have Skips. He's uh, he's only a year old. He was born on May 3rd last year. Yeah, but he does. He doesn't look bad for him. He looks good. He's got a. So I have two good bucks now, and then I have my next buck that I want to use maybe next year or springtime, which is this guy, Tiger. He's growing a little slow, but he's getting there. I do have him for sale for $700. Um, I just want to see if anybody wants to buy him. If not, I'll just end up keeping him. So but he looks good. Huh, Paulo? <laughs> yeah, so this is a... Uh, I know I want to quick bait it, but he's, I did actually pay a thousand for him, so. Um, yeah, this is my first thousand dollar goat I bought. Um, I think the one that comes closest is uh, my other one I bought, which is Skips' dad. So I bought Skips' dad, I think for 750, I believe. Um, but that's the most expensive goat I bought now. He is 100% registered, 100%, so. And he is out of Texas. So it's really, you know, Santiago really has good bloodlines from you know, different states, all, all in his herd. So really, really good. And if you guys can, um, if you guys want to buy some goats from him, he does have some good bucks available. Um, I do have some available too. I have his black headed buck from Pat. Um, he's not the dad, but my other buck, Pat, we sold. He's the father to that guy. Um, and I do have some other ones available, but. So far, so good. Um, I do own, and I do have some of these ones available right here too. I have this one right here available. He has like three dots in the back of his head, or back of his back. I do have, here's a nice doe we're actually keeping right here. Um, this is uh, Bailey's kid. She looks really good, so. As a kid, she's only about three weeks old. She looks really gorgeous. Nice and thick, so. I, oh, and I just recently just sold two rams. Uh, we're gonna keep this last guy. He actually ran into the fence, so he's kind of bleeding over there. But we actually banded him. We're gonna probably butcher him maybe, um, I wanna say maybe here in about two months. So, my first animal that I raised that we're gonna eat, so. Huh. So our first animal that we're gonna eat here that I raised. Yeah, <laughs> no goats yet, <laughs> but the ram. <laughs> so, but so far so good. Um, yeah, I guess I'm trying to get the the quality in here now. So I got the quantity I want. Um, here's got other other bucks I do have for sale. I have this guy right here laying down. He's out of skips. I have this other buck right here available too. He's out of, out of skips. Um, there's that red one I was showing you, or that black one. He's for, he's for sale too. Um, but I think that's it though. But we did have, uh, we were just watching Big Mama just kind of fight the new guy. What's, what's his name? Ace? What's his name? Ace? On his paperwork, his name is Painted Ace. So, But we just name him Ace. So him and our Ace and Big Mama were fighting, but I guess he figured out that she was a girl. So he just started trying to do his thing. And he's a virgin buck. He has never bred before, so he is. I guess this would be your first time, so can't wait to use him. But this is it, okay? Oh, there's that sicko back there. <laughs> yeah. Should be. Should be interesting having two bucks. Okay. Um, but besides that, um, thank you guys for watching the video. I know it was just a little cuts here and there. Um, but again, if you guys are interested in buying some bucks from Santiago, he does have three or four available really good bucks um, But yeah, I do have shirts available. I know I'm gonna probably re kind of redesign my shirt I know I might get a new logo, but if you guys can like subscribe it does help um, But yeah, thank you guys for watching and you guys hope you guys keep supporting me um, It's been a while since I made a video, but you guys have a great day